what is a front company. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. According to Black's Law Dictionary, a front company is a term used for an entity, be it an individual or group or organization, used to inhibit the identification of an owner or member of another company or organization. This isn't always illegal, but it is a way of avoiding liability, bad press, and unwanted scrutiny. For example, a religious group may attempt to circumvent laws by bankrolling the activities of a charity or volunteer organization. A corporation doing business in an unfriendly or sanctioned country might also create a front in hopes of keeping their name out of the press and the courts. But how common is this practice? Here's where it gets crazy. Front companies are far more common than the average person might assume. Religious organizations and big businesses aren't the only groups using shell companies. Organized crime, intelligence agencies, and banned political groups still use front companies today. Criminals often rely on fronts for money laundering. For example, the Zetas drug cartel laundered cocaine profits through a cattle ranch. It was a good idea, at least until they got caught. Governments may create front companies for a variety of reasons, such as providing a backstory for spies. For example, the CIA created Brewster Jennings and Associates to provide cover for their operatives. This company was exposed when journalist Robert Novak outed former CIA agent Valerie Plame. Countries may also get around weapons sanctions by creating a company to buy forbidden hardware, missiles, radar components, etc., without fear of sanctions. And then there's clandestine warfare. While a government may not be able to invade and wage war without public approval, an intelligence agency of that government can use front companies to fund and build ostensibly grassroots protesters, political groups, and militias that may eventually become a revolutionary or terroristic force. Individuals may use these shell companies too, often to avoid taxes, to give and receive bribes, to finance terrorism, and more. Front companies are also useful for political manipulators who practice astroturfing, attempting to make an advocacy group or so-called grassroots movement appear to be something powered by popular appeal rather than by millions of dollars from an interested corporation, group of businesses, or unpopular billionaires. So there's not just one, but hundreds of variations of front companies. They are global, they are chasing hundreds of different goals, and may often be in conflict with one another, but they all have a single common strategy strategy, hiding the identity of their real owners, whether those owners are political cabals, shadowy corporations, or drug cartels, they each have something they don't want you to know. So who are these people and groups specifically? Which companies do they run, and why? Learn more in our next episode.